It has been held up as a way for neighborhoods to police themselves and reduce gun violence on Baltimore streets. Then two Safe Streets members were arrested following an armed robbery investigation. Now that location in McElderly Park is about to reopen. In Focus investigator Brian Kubler is here to explain what happens next. Kelly, during that investigation in the McElderly Park site, Baltimore police seized guns, heroin, cocaine from inside the Safe Streets office. It was then suspended indefinitely by City Health Commissioner Dr. Lena Wen. But today, Dr. Wen announced it would reopen under limited operations. The City Health Department completed a full review of the program and has since implemented new training and security protocols to improve oversight. The program's Mondaman site went through much the same thing back in 2013, and it too reopened successfully. Despite the recent problems at the McEldry Park location, the program as a whole is held in very high regard in this city. The city health department says its staff mediated nearly 900 conflicts last year alone, and more than 80% of those interactions were deemed likely or very likely to have resulted in gun violence. Now, in addition to reopening the McEldry Park site, the health department also announced Safe Streets might be expanding. It's looking at getting a fifth location up and running. Most likely, that new chapter will be in Sandtown, the epicenter of the riots and one of the areas hardest hit by this summer's historic violence.